So you can use Notebook to create a lot of different lesson and lesson activities for your class. And the big thing um, about using a program like this is it's really advantageous to not try and recreate the wheel. So people have been using Smart Notebook for a long time and there's no need for you to go and try and create something if someone else has already done it. And I know in my case there's versions out there that people have probably spent way more time creating. So instead of me rushing to try and make something, I might as well find someone who's already done something. And so starting with using your gallery, and we looked at here a little, looked here a little bit earlier, but it's worth really getting to know your gallery and seeing that there's some things in there that will save you time rather than you going, um, going to go and make them on your own. The other thing that's really, really helpful is something called Smart Exchange, and this is the um, icon that will take you there. And it takes you directly to Smart Exchange, which is a website. You do need to create a user, um, like a login password. It's free, but you do need to log in. It's just going to take a minute to open. And within Smart Exchange, you can get access to other lessons that lesson and lesson activities that people all around the world can, have created, and they go from all the way down from kindergarten all the way up to high school. They are sorted into all different subject areas, and you can search by the subject area, you can search by the grade. So if you're teaching something, anything, you can type a search word in here and see uh, what comes up. So for example, let's say you're teaching a unit about plants. So I'm just going to pull up my keyboard and type the word plants in here. Oops. And just press enter. Now, I didn't specify what grade I wanted to search for, so I'm probably going to get quite a range of things. And so what these things are, are different smart notebook lessons that someone else has created. And there are tons of things. It looks like we have 1,500 hits to my word plants. So when you know that you're teaching a certain subject, it's worth going here and looking to see if there's something that might meet your needs. And then you can always adapt it. You don't have to keep it exactly the way it is. When you see something that you want to know a little bit more about, if you just click on it, it will bring you a little preview that will show you a couple of pages of what's in the file. Not necessarily the whole thing. So, that, um, and then you can, if you like what you see, you can download it, open it in your own smart note, in your own notebook, and then you can start to modify it. When you see this open in Smart Notebook Express, that's going to open it, but it's going to open it just sort of the internet version of it. You won't be able to modify it. And there's tons and tons, tons and tons in here, and you can modify your search. So if I want to look for plants and 1,500 hits is too much for me, I could pick certain grades. So I only want to look for grades 9, 10, 11, for example, and that will help narrow it down. Um, my understanding is that anyone can post to this. So the quality and sort of the level of thinking for some of these activities might not meet your need, but it might. So it's certainly, I would suggest looking here before you go um, and create something. At the very least, you can find an idea or even an image or an activity that you haven't thought of.